What's up, Unleashed Peeps? So here's the deal. I keep getting a lot of questions about target audience when I meet with people, when I talk to people who have their businesses. They're trying to figure out who they should market to, how they should market, and you know what type of things they should say in their marketing. And I think it's actually very simple. So today I wanna really break it down and, and just get totally real and frank with you about finding your target audience because it's not something that's difficult. It's just something that you have to make a commitment to and you have to understand what the what you know what it all means. And so today that's what I'm gonna be breaking down for you. You need to think about not who you actually get, but who you want. That's number one. So you may get you know, you may get lower paying clients, but you want higher end clients. Your target audience is not where you're actually hitting. It's like hitting a target, right? You may hit around the outside. That may be your actual hit, but you're aiming for the bullseye, right? So who's your bullseye target audience? The interesting thing about determining your bullseye audience or your bullseye person for your marketing is that really this po this part of creating your branding is really all about you. When you start your marketing, it will be all about that bullseye person. But when you think about your bullseye person, think of this as the person that you love to work with. Who are the clients that you work with right now that you just love to work with? You love working with them, they pay you well. Um, if you could have a million of these clients, you would do it. Um, think, of, think of your bullseye person like that. Try to start from what gives you joy when you're working with these people. Who are the people that it satisfies you when they buy your product or they call you up and need you for your service? Um, are they the people who put things on social media, they're very active, or maybe it's the person who doesn't mind paying the full price of your item, or the person who um, it feels like they actually really needed your product and they're so excited that you created it or your service. That's the person you're looking for for your business, right? That's the person like, if I could replicate you a hundred times, a million times, I would. That is your target audience. That is your bullseye person. And it's really important to remember that it is really one person. I mean, you're not creating five people. That person should have a name, they should have an age, they should have a job, they should have specific things that are related to one person. Um, so a lot of times people, when you're talking about target audiences, I think it's great to kind of have an idea of a target audience, yes, but when you're creating your marketing, I need you to think of that one person only. You're more likely to attract the people that you want and repel the people that you don't want than if you try to group an age group together. So if you say, I'm gonna market to a 25 to 35 year old, I'm gonna market to a 25 to 50 year old, what is your marketing gonna say? Who are you actually talking to? It really just waters down your message and you want your message to be crisp and clear and people to know that this marketing was created specifically for them or for somebody that they want to be like, or the marketing was created for somebody that they are no nothing near. It's not to say that you'll never work with clients that are not your target or your bullseye person. This is to say that your marketing and your advertising is so clear that you're attracting the type of customer that you want. Now, I try to tell people, don't think of what you always get or what you currently work with, that's great, still take those clients and still work with those people. But this is to help you focus your marketing on the people that you actually want to attract. And I hope that's coming across. I hope I'm making that point very clear and not being redundant. But it is important to understand that that person, when you create this bullseye person, should literally have a pulse. By the time you're done, that person should have a pulse. You should know everything about that person so down to the color that they like, down to where they like to eat, where they like to hang out. Um, if you were creating something and you created a marketing or a, a advertising campaign, you should be able to say, hmm, would Jenny like this? Because you've obviously named your bullseye person. So you should be able to say, would Jenny, would Jenny go for this? Would Jenny be attracted to something like this? Would she like that? Would she, would this repel her? Those are the types of things that you should be able to say. When I speak into the camera, 
I'm literally talking to one of the people that, that I know has either asked this question or has a problem with this issue. So I know how to talk to them. I know what I should be saying to them. I know how many times I have to repeat it. I already know what they're thinking. You should be thinking, I already know the doubts and the questions and the answers and the feelings that are coming from this person because I created this person. I know this person, they have a pulse. Those are the types of things you're looking for when you're creating your, um, your bullseye customer, okay, your bullseye person. That's all I have for you today, so get out there and unleash your something amazing. I'll see you next week.